In our previous video, we learned about humidity. In this video, we will learn about absolute humidity and relative humidity. Many people find it difficult to understand this. But this is actually a simple concept. First, let's understand the basics of humidity. In our atmosphere, water from various sources, like ponds, lakes, living beings, and plants, evaporates and turns into water vapor. This water vapor mixes with the air. And the mixed water vapor is what we call humidity. There are two types of humidity. One is absolute humidity and the other is relative humidity. Absolute humidity is measured in grams per cubic meter. And relative humidity is measured as a percentage. Absolute humidity measures how many grams of water vapor are in the air. Relative humidity measures how much water vapor is mixed in the air compared to how much it can hold. For example, let's take a 1 cubic meter area. Absolute humidity measures the mass of water vapor mixed in the air within this 1 cubic meter area in grams. Let's say there are 10 grams of water vapor in this 1 cubic meter area. Now, its absolute humidity value is 10 grams per cubic meter. But, this area has the capacity to store up to 20 grams of water vapor. However, there are only 10 grams of water vapor present at the moment. That means, 50% of the water vapor is filled in this area. This value, measured as a percentage, is the relative humidity. If this area had 20 grams of water vapor, its relative humidity would be 100%. If it had 16 grams of water vapor, its relative humidity would be 80%. Air has a property. When air is heated, it expands, and when it is cooled, it contracts. Now, let's increase the temperature of this air. When the temperature increases, all the air molecules expand. As they expand, more space is created within this area. So, we can store more water vapor in this area. After the air expands, the area that could previously store up to 20 grams of water vapor can now store up to 40 grams of water vapor. Now, let's measure the absolute humidity value. It still contains 10 grams of water vapor. That means, even though the temperature increased, the mass value of the water vapor did not change. So, its absolute humidity value is still 10 grams per cubic meter. From this, we understand that the absolute humidity value does not change, even if the air temperature increases or decreases. Now, let's measure the relative humidity. When the area could hold up to 20 grams of water vapor and contained 10 grams, the relative humidity was 50%. But now, since the temperature increased and the air expanded, it can hold up to 40 grams of water vapor. So, in this area, that can hold 40 grams of water vapor, there are only 10 grams present. That means, only 25% of the water vapor capacity is filled. Therefore, the relative humidity value is 25%. When the temperature increases, the relative humidity value decreases, and when the temperature decreases, the relative humidity value increases. For example, we said, the air currently holds 10 grams of water vapor. If the temperature drops to a point where the air can only hold a maximum of 10 grams, the relative humidity will be 100%. Now, if the temperature drops even further, the air's capacity might decrease to 8 grams. In this case, 2 grams of the existing water vapor will condense and turn into liquid water. This phenomenon explains why humidity levels are generally lower during warmer mornings and higher during cooler nights. As the temperature rises during the day, the air's capacity to hold water vapor increases, leading to lower relative humidity. Conversely, as the temperature drops at night, the air's capacity decreases, resulting in higher relative humidity. When the temperature drops significantly at night, the air can no longer hold the excess water vapor, and it condenses into water. 
This condensed water is what we see as dew on surfaces in the morning. The temperature at which this water vapor condenses into dew is called the dew point temperature. We will learn about dew point temperature in our next video. Absolute humidity values are not commonly used in HVAC applications. These values are typically utilized in scientific and industrial fields. In HVAC, the focus is only on relative humidity values. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with anyone who you think might find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to our Zebra Learnings channel. Thank you.